know what goes great with a cup of warm cocoa? A peppermint sugar crystal stick. I'll show you how to make it. So for this project, we'll need sugar, some water, peppermint extract, a couple small mason jars, clothes spins, either lollipop sticks or cake pop sticks, measuring cup, pot, some food coloring, and a spoon. Pour one cup of water into your pot and bring it to a boil on the stove. Gradually add two cups of sugar to the water. Stir continuously and keep the mixture at a boil. Once all the sugar is dissolved, take the pot off the heat and let it cool for a few minutes. Pour the mixture into two small mason jars or cups. Add a few drops of peppermint and food coloring to each cup. Dip your sticks into the mixture and then roll them in a little bit of sugar to give them something for the crystals to start growing on. Use the clothespins to suspend your sticks in each of the mixtures. Make sure that the sticks are not touching the bottom or the sides of the glasses. Now wait a couple days and your crystals will start growing. Remove them from their jars and let the excess liquid drip off. When you heated up your sugar and water, you created what's known as a super saturated solution. That means that you were able to dissolve more sugar at the higher temperature than you would be able to at room temperature. When your solution cools down and then some of the liquid starts to evaporate, the sugar then solidifies again, creating the crystals. Growing sugar crystals can be a bit finicky. If you aren't getting enough crystals to grow, try redoing your solution with more sugar. If you're getting too many, Try less. You can use all kinds of flavors for this experiment. It doesn't have to be peppermint. You can use orange extract, vanilla, maple flavoring. You can also change the colors. If you leave your crystals in the solution for longer, they'll also grow to be a lot bigger. As always, like, comment, subscribe, keep tinkering, and I'll see you next time.